Thank you for clicking on the video. I'm going to be trying something different here for a little while. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to do this or how well it's going to work out, but because things are happening so frequently in the news now, as we're expecting, you know, being students of prophecy, we know it's going to accelerate. Uh, I want to put this information out there in front of as many people as I possibly can. And uh, even though the website does get a fair amount of hits, I want to put it out there in video format as well. And so when I make these quick videos, there's not going to be a lot of transitions and fancy graphics and whatnot, uh, because it's going to be more about the message than it is about the pictures. But as you see here by today's blog entry, uh, Jennifer Lawrence has decided to chime in and declare that Mother Nature, or in her world that would be God, uh, is angry and is sending uh, Hurricane Harvey and Irma because the American people voted for Trump. Uh, it says in the article here that the Oscar-winning actress Jennifer Lawrence suggested the devastating hurricanes in Texas and approaching Florida were signs of Mother Nature's rage and wrath at America for electing Donald Trump and not believing in man-made climate change. It's scary, the actress responded to the interviewer's assertion that there was an end-of-days feeling across the world and especially in the U.S., First and foremost, Jennifer Lawrence is a very well-paid professional liar. And no, I'm not being sarcastic. It's the basic definition of what an actor or an actress is. Every actor in Hollywood literally makes their living by lying to people on camera. And as we know, Hollywood has been pushing the Vatican's leftist view for many, many years. The fact the most popular film-making entity known to man is named Universal should tell you something. The Latin term Catholic is actually translated as universal in English, but enough about that. The movie makers of Hollywood have promoted all that is evil in the world, and like Roman Catholic theologians who promote paganism and its evil rituals as if it's all Bible-sanctioned Christianity, Hollywood's going to do the same thing. What I mean is the movie producers have somehow convinced the masses that all of their extremely violent and flesh-filled movies that promote everything from murder to rape is somehow to be considered entertainment by all. And the fact they have gone political in their many strange messages and plots for as far back as I can recall, even from my teen years, it, it, it all shows they do indeed have a long-term agenda that is right now coming to fruition. And seeing how there isn't a human alive today that has not been born after the end time started in 1844, which was the exact year as Daniel the prophet predicted in his 2300 year prophecy. None of us can afford to be swayed by Hollywood, politics, or worse yet, the confirmed man of sin in Rome. Jennifer Lawrence, like many of her cohorts in Hollywood that have sold their souls for riches and fame, they know all too well that unless they toe the line presented them and use their celebrity to bend the ears of the fans that worship them, they're going to lose their jobs, they're going to lose their money, they're going to lose their fame and their pretended political powers that are splashed upon them that they literally play act a scripted part for a set fee that is purposely designed to sway the minds of their fans, kind of like the way Obama always read from teleprompters. And so when the powers that be demand they speak for the Pope's climate change agenda, they're going to do it. They have no choice. And at present, the Pope can use the current disasters piling up to shore up support on his climate change docket towards enforcing his admitted mark. We are right now cleaning up from Hurricane Harvey. Los Angeles is right now experiencing the worst fires in U.S. history. Hurricane Irma, a Category 5 like no other hurricane in history, is continuing to destroy and kill and right now headed to Florida. And Mexico just had an earthquake that was so bad, it moved the fault 32 literal feet. And so, yes, as prophesied, the calamities are increasing, but not for the reasons that the Pope claims. Now for the obvious next step. Will it happen directly after Irma wipes out large portions of Florida? Or will they let this all fester in the minds of the people so as to have the prophesied compilation of additional disasters nicely stacked up so that the people are ready to hear them declare that the disasters are only here because all Christians refuse to go to church on Sunday. Well, of course, time will tell. We know that's what's next. We know they're going to do it, but when, it really doesn't matter. But you remember this Vatican-approved minister who declared the tsunami of 2005 was the end result of people refusing to go to church on Sundays? Sure, it went over like a lead balloon back then because they only had the one disaster to work with, but pile a few disasters up and they're going to have what they need to push the agenda forward. But for Lawrence to claim God's wrath is upon us because Trump, who has also been in bed with Rome since he had his mandated CEO meeting with him years ago, for her to say that is just ludicrous at best. 
It's merely a way to increase the expectation in the minds of the people that there must be a reason for the disasters increasing, and seeing how next to no one reads Bibles anymore, any claim will most assuredly be used as the proverbial lump of mud that sticks in the minds of many, that Rome can then use to eventually grant them their aha moment. When Satan literally steps up, claiming to be Jesus Christ, who then claims everyone needs to keep Sunday holy to stop all the calamities, because now he's getting upset that you're breaking his Sabbath. Even though it's not his Sabbath, there's not a Bible verse from Genesis to Revelation to back that up. Not one. The majority that have bathed in the lies of Satan all their lives will then finally be primed and ready to declare this final lie to make perfect sense for all the disasters. And so they're going to agree and receive the mark as the right thing to do to try to stop them. Thank you for watching. God bless.